It is a cold, rainy day outside today because fall's a coming, which is something I'm happy about, but also kind of sad just because of the cold it brings and then the winter that comes after. Actually, that's so true. I don't mind the fall. I just don't like what comes after the fall, which is winter. But anyway, today I am going to do a quick makeup tutorial without really telling you what I'm doing. I'm just showing you me putting on makeup on my face. It's not my usual routine because I'm gonna try to use some eyeliner and I usually don't wear eyeliner. I actually usually don't wear makeup. But you gotta learn somewhere. So we're gonna try the eyeliner. If it if it doesn't look good we're just gonna go with it throughout the entire video. I'll 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 still upload this, it's fine. So step number one is to gather your makeup supplies. I've already done this. You cannot see them, but they are on the floor. Uh, fun fact, my camera slash laptop is on a pillowcase and the pillowcase is stuffed inside of a laundry basket. And it's my setup. I think it's pretty fancy dancy. So for some reason, I always like doing my eyeshadow first. And I'm gonna choose a kind of brown color because it's kind of cold. It's more like a copper color. All these are sparkly. They're really pretty. My friend gave them to me. Or green. We might do green and brown. Now I know there are certain ways to put on makeup and certain ways to apply the eyeshadow and blend it all out. Do I follow them? No. Actually, you know what? Green would be better if I want to do eyeliner. See, I don't even know the process of how to do makeup. I really don't. I, I try. Actually, the first time I ever put on makeup was I think in ninth grade. I never wore any before then. And then I went through the phase like I feel like most people go through of the really caked on orange face makeup because my foundation did not match my skin tone at all. I mean, I thought it did at the time, but looking back... <laughs> bad but I mean most people go through that time so if you are in that time right now let me just say you still have time left um and again since this isn't my in the camera I I really don't know if it's gonna look good in real life I'm just basing it on whether it looks good in the camera and I I'm thinking it's not gonna look very good in real life but it's okay now, usually I used to not have this. I think I got this at the dollar store or Walmart. Um, I used to just use my fingers. Your fingers work too. Okay. Now, usually I don't wear foundation just because I found that... I don't know. It makes my face cakey and I cannot wear foundation. I can wear it like on my cheeks. But on my nose and especially in the T-zone on my forehead, I cannot wear make uh foundation because it just looks dry and flaky but I mean if I was looking really tired I could put some concealer or something under my eyes but I'm going for that tired sort of I'm dead makeup look so this is kind of like corpse makeup but a bit better so um sometimes I use this I have weird eyebrows it's okay I can still brush them. I don't put anything, any makeup on them. This is a scar. Fun fact. Um, let's see. Now, next, I'm going to just put on... I don't know if I want to put on my blush yet. I will go for... I will go for... This. And I just realized I forgot my mascara. So, give me uno segundo. Okay. I got my mascara. I just paused the video. No need to say. I have added to this because I have not. <laughs> Although I might have to after I put on my eyeliner. Maybe I should wait on my eyeliner. I really don't know how to put it on. This isn't one of this is one of those rolly pin ones and actually it's really old. It's will probably give me an eye infection cuz it's like <sighs> 2 years old. I'll try. I'll, I'll try. Oh yeah. I can see it coming along. 
this is really difficult in this mirror. I can't even put it on normally. This is like extra difficult. I mean, from afar it looks fine, but when you get up close, <clears throat> just I'll just say hi to strangers from afar. I won't, I won't give them the French peck on the cheek sort of thing. Um, we're going into the other eye now. Sometimes, um, let me just try my left. I actually have not put on eyeliner in months, so, oops. You see, this is what I'm saying. This is my life. But we can make this work. Just rub it in. Boom, it's gone. Never even happened. Maybe I should maybe I should use my dominant hand now that I think about it. Maybe I shouldn't have worn eyeliner. Maybe that's the whole problem. Or that it's old. Or both. If anyone has any tips... On how to apply eyeliner, please, please share. There's a bird outside. I think he's saying hi to me. He's giving me encouragement with this makeup journey. And I appreciate it. You know what? We're just going to blend all this out. That's what we're going to do. I mean, it doesn't look bad from afar. It really doesn't look that bad from afar. But, dang it, Smalls. I have lost. I have, oh, I found it. Never mind. Everything's a-okay. <clears throat> We're going back in. This time with a brown. And we're going to try to blend out. Or just put on a new layer. <laughs> it didn't quite blend it out. But like I said, we got to go with it. I mean, I'll just pretend to blend it out. It's not too bad. I guess. I really don't know. I thought about completely taking up, take, taking off all of my makeup after this video because, well, I'm just thinking that now just because of how awkward it looks, but I say if you're awkward, embrace your awkwardness because that's what I've learned is the best, is to embrace my awkwardness. Okay. It's time for mascara so I can be done with my eyes and move on to my cheeks because my cheeks are easy. Although I add way too much blush. You're gonna go whoop. Okay. This is an ordeal. We're all going through it together. Just, I mean, it's actually not that bad. In the camera. I don't know about it in real life. But we're gonna try it. And I don't really know what I'm saying either. I'm literally... This happened last time too. I'm literally saying whatever comes to my head. Oh my gosh. And I got some on my nose. I swear. Me. Or I guess it's makeup and I do not mix very well. If you're an English teacher. Like comment and share. Ow. Okay, I feel like this is a repeat from last time. I got mascara under my eyes. I got mascara on my hair. I got mascara everywhere. I thought about that and I was like, let's say it. Now, if you get mascara under your eye, the best thing I found is to wait for it to dry. So, while waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna put on some Lip balm. I actually might put on some, some, this. It is a Revlon 
Strawberry Topaz Lip Liqueur. I know I haven't been saying any of the other names, but it's okay. Now, if all my video ever suddenly stops, that's because my voice has come off from the video, so I have to pause the video and then restart it. <sighs> the life. I don't know how to put on lipstick either. Do you ever just like crack yourself up? I crack myself up a lot. Meaning I fall, fall, fall. But I also crack myself up. Now, we're gonna take this random hoodie and press your lips into it. Make sure it's black. It's like you're kissing a sweater. Okay. Now that this has probably done drying, we're just going to kind of massage it away. And it's time for our very last and my most favorite part, as always, blush. Because it, it's like the Victorian people who used to pinch their cheeks like this before they went out to greet some man and be all like, Hey, how you doing? So that's what I'm attempting here. As you can see, it's already worked and I'm not even wearing blush. <laughs> It just hurts eventually and you make it swollen cheeks if you continually do it because it does go away. Anywho, um, I don't have a rhyme or reason as to putting on blush. I kind of use it just everywhere because it's cold outside. So it'll be like I have a bit of sunshine on my own face. This video actually turned out a lot longer than I expected. I was going to do a really short two minute makeup tutorial which literally is mascara and blush that's actually correct mundo I oh I also got a new haircut and I tried to make it wavy don't know if I like it but you know we gotta deal with it it's called style. If you don't think you like it, then... But you can't do anything about it. You just gotta deal with it. Okay. Ow. Totally hurt my eye right there. Okay. Whew. That was a difficult endeavor for all of us to go through. I thank you for staying with me for these long, long journey. Um, it was very arduous. I have a candle. Ooh, it's hot because cause it's a candle because there's fire so anyway I hope y'all have a good day um, I'm trying to end it uh, in a good way it's failing just thank you for staying with me to the end voila